Tara is a female aspect of the Buddha. See here. What, what do you mean by something stands out? This is Tibetan food, right? Yeah. Called Samba. T S A M Samba. Samba is the national Tibetan food. It's grounded and roasted. It's a flower of rose balik flower. Roasted balik. And then you make a flower. That flower is called Samba. It's Tibetan pest food. If you are a gorilla fighter, that's what you need. You need a bag of Samba, that's what you need. Then you can have some water, that's how you're good to go. Um, in the West, the most, probably the most emblematic food associated with Tibetans is the dumpling. It's, it's called momo. Uh, but, but within Tibet, the sort of traditional Tibetan food is called sampa. Is it good? No. Um, it's just kind of like eating raw dough. I mean, I like samba, no single doubt. And they are, you know, really accessible, very easy. Pass, you know, I just have no, I just need hot water, you know, just put honey in some butter. I'm good to go about that. Make a paste, eat it. General people love to make a momos. But in truth, truthfully, momos probably originated from China. And now these days, you know, popular all over the world. You know, that kind of thing, you know, also Tibetan called shapali is the kind of like a dumpling that, you know, deep fry or saute. Those things are very popular Tibetan people can eat in general level. Those also consider luxury food. Not average people cannot make it because they need a lot of resources to do so. You know, my good friend Geshe Dorje, he, he cooks every meal from scratch. Um, I've never seen him eat any kind of processed food in his life. Not because he has a principle against processed food, it's just that it's not in his culture, you know, to do it. Um, I've never seen him eat fast food or anything like that. Younger Tibetans, um, you know, they'll eat at Chick-fil-A. They don't, you know, they, they, but I think, I mean, American, American, I, I am not an expert on American you know, cuisine by any means. But um, <clears throat> our food has a reputation for being highly processed. Oh, yeah, I see you have some Takis. Uh, what, can you give us a rating on those, like out of 10? Takis? Yeah. T-A-K-I-S, Takis. I don't know that much about Takis. One of my Tibetan girl, I come to go to my house, she loves those things. She introduced me. I don't eat it last. It's spicy and sour together. Are they good though? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> Targies. <laughs> well, I, I, I think the most memorable experience I had was when the Dalai Lama came to the University of Arkansas. Before he went on stage, we were sitting in what you might call a green room, but it was actually where the Razorback basketball team looks at video. I was asking him about Sampa, the, and I was asking him how you make it, and he, he took my hands and he curled my hand into like, like a bowl, and he said, you put in the, the barley flour and you put in the liquid and you roll it around like that, and he was rolling it in my hand like that. You make little balls and you eat the little balls of dough. Uh, I won't ever forget that instruction about how to make how to make sampa. I'm not very good at it, but I've had I've had instruction from the top guy. So <laughs> I'm still not very good at it. Everything's what we do, what we eat, where we are in. That's all about. You know, just general level. We need to be really careful what we eat, what we're drinking. You know, it's you know, it's our life. <laughs>